Hi Virgo, this is just with your April 2017 mid-month reading. I hope you guys are having an enjoyable day so far. So Virgo, uh, for the remainder of this month, um, it looks like you guys are working really hard, okay? Um, you're pretty stable financially for those of you that's working, money's coming in, that sort of thing. Um, now, some of you are working a lot and therefore there may not be enough time to go out, although you have a lot of offers to go out, play, have fun, just kind of kick your heels up, be social, that sort of thing. Um, but you may have to kind of work, you know, it may be some things that you're kind of sifting through in your particular life. You may be focusing on a particular new business for yourself, a new opportunity for yourself or starting a new job or something like there's a lot of work at the workplace. So some of you may not be able to get out. But you're doing really well because you're really focused. You're getting a lot done, um, it looks like. Uh, now, there could have been, um, it looks like some of you for this month is, um, I'm trying to look through this, guys. I'm trying to look through it because it's a lot, a little bit of, a little bit of a lot going on. Okay. Um, so there may be some things that you're doing uh, for self, right? Um, you may be working on a particular project at work with a partner. OK, um, and you're even if you're the f woman in the partnership at work, you're taking on more of a masculine role. It's like the roles are reverse here. Right. And so you kind of have to take the helm. Now, it may be exhausting for some of you, uh, but, you know, that the person that you're dealing with, they, they could be a bit passive, like they are the doer, but you're the thinker. So you're the head and they're the they're the, the body and you're the head if that makes any sense like you're the logical one and they're the one that carry out the 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 actions once the plan is put in place uh, now I do see that you may be trying to decide you know which directions you need to go there may be some confusion around family um, around your mom a particular um, situation there is what I'm saying uh, there may be, you may be having some difficulty for some of you. There may be some confusion around maybe trying to get pregnant. Okay. For some of you, uh, you may be trying to decide or see if, if you are pregnant, right? So there may be some things going on there. Like, am I pregnant? I'm not really sure. It's been, I'm 10 days, I'm 10 days late, um, from my period. And, um, I'm not really sure if I'm pregnant. So some of you might be finding out, uh, as we get, down into May, um, that, um, that you're not pregnant. So some of you may be finding out that you're not pregnant. Some of you may be finding out that you're not going to go full term. So I'm sorry to, to have to say that and tell some of you that, and I typically never say that to, uh, Virgos, but I do see that here. And then you'll go on that road of recovery, self-recovering, recovering for yourself. Okay. Um, and I just see that there is a, um, I see that there's a lot of love. There's a lot of like, you're very emotional this month. Okay. So you're kind of going through, I wouldn't say lows. I feel like you're going through wanting to kind of reestablish and connect to a place that I uh, was familiar with to you. That was fun. That was, you know, um, familiar but you're feeling confused, you know, <laughs> you may be fantasizing some of you a lot, trying to get back to a happy place. Cause you really just want to be happy. You, you know, you want to be happy. You want to be loved. You want to be abundant. I don't see so much like your money is okay. You both are solid men and women. You're solid for most of you. You kind of run your roost. So if you're, if, if you have, um, your family dynamic, you may be the breadwinner, man or woman, okay? Um, if you have a working partnership, you may be the person that kind of directs uh, the helm, that sort of thing. But right now, this the remainder of this month is more about, you know, wanting to establish a love, or wanting to establish um, your feelings, just wanting, like, it's like one minute, you just want to get to a place of happy, right? You just want to feel fun and you want to socialize and you want to be happy and you may find yourself reminiscing, fantasizing about those moments. And it could be with a particular person or it could be with a particular situ situation where you were, where happiness was there for you, right? Um, someone now, as we get um, closer into uh, the end of April going into May, I see that some of you are going to um, almost like, 
if that's what you're wanting so bad, you're not going to stop until either you go out and get that or it comes to you. You're manifesting it, right? So something may come in and give you just what you want. Someone will come in or some some going out and that environment is going to make you feel like, wow, you know, I'm feeling very powerful and this is feeling really good. I'm very social, that sort of thing. But as, as quickly as it happens, it will be as quickly as it ends, okay? Um, so some of you could find yourself doing a little too much. You go out, you drink too much, and now you have to like go back and, you know, drink a lot of water and try to, try to, um, kind of replenish yourself, right? Until you're back off to the races again is what I'm getting. Someone may come into your life and you're like, it's a whirlwind. Like I've been having so much fun with this person and, and everything is great with them. And then, you know, it's over. You don't hear from them. And then you hear from them again, somewhere down the line. So it's this, it's this temporary energy is kind of what I'm getting from you guys, because you're kind of, you're not necessarily in a one track emotional, you're not on a one emotional track, right? You're kind of like all over the place with your emotions. And it's stemming from wanting to grasp something from the past, wanting to feel some kind of way that you felt before or wanting to feel a particular kind of way. And sometimes it's very light and fun. Other times it's, none of it is deep, by the way. None of this is like heavy, deep love. Although you really like you've experienced that or you have that in you and you're reminiscing about, you know, that fullness of love and everything that encompasses a happiness, a happy feeling. Okay. Flirting, um, socializing with friends, you know, um, meeting that person that you feel is your soulmate, having that experience with someone that, that's your soulmate, all of those things. So some of you guys are just really all over the place with your emotions and you may be having those moments, but as soon as they come in, they leave out, right? That sort of thing. Okay. Um, I'm saying for some of you, just be very careful. You may be feeling good one minute and then next, you know, you're like not feeling so well. Okay. Um, you may be, you may tap yourself out, out of the blue. Okay. So just be very careful. Some of you may, you know, find yourself in a hospital with dehydration. Okay. And someone might come in and visit you really quickly and then they leave out that sort of thing. So just be, just be careful is what I'm kind of sensing here. Cause it's like out of nowhere, it's something kind of like knocks you guys out. Okay. Um, so yeah, I would say be, be careful because it's a lot of just, I get a lot of emotion, which is so unlike Virgo. Now, as it relates to love, I'm seeing here that, uh, Virgos, you, is somebody from your past, or there's a past situation that started and there's some depression, sadness, um, some things that kind of came out, some things that are still probably hidden a little, little bit at a time, things have been revealed, um, or there's just some confusion around, um, this particular person or situation that you're in. Some of you are on the defense over a particular relationship that you are in or you've lost. There's been some lies and some deceit around this. And you're trying, some of you are trying to be together. Or you're trying to establish a relationship, but at the same time, you want to be free. At the same time, some of you want out of it. You may, for some of you, you may be saying, you know, I love you and all of those things, but some of you really just want to be free and you want to flirt and you want to be social and you just want this lightness is what I keep getting. You want light, funness. Now for my ladies, um, some of you may be trying to determine if you're pregnant. Okay. And there's some confusion around that for some men. You may be trying to, you may be trying to see if, you know, a person may say that, you know, you are pregnant. What? And now you're trying to, to figure out if this person is mine, like, <laughs> you know, does the baby belong to me? That sort of thing. Um, and I do see that for some of you, you may have a loyalty to someone, like you may be with one person, right? But then there's somebody in your heart that you maybe long for, you know, that you felt like the happiest that you've been, you've ever felt, like the most content that you've ever felt. And you may wonder at times, like, I wonder what's going on with this person. I wonder what it would it have been like if we would have made things work, if we would have been together. I wonder, I wonder, I wonder. So some of you are having a lot of fantasies about that, right? Um, but there is a loyalty with a particular person. Now, some of you, you're going to, in, some of you that's in a relationship, you're going to have very passionate 
moment. Some of you are um, in a triangle situation. You may be, you know, telling somebody that you're single and you're free and you're flirting with them and all of those things. And you guys go out and you socialize with them um, or you just make, yeah, you, some of you are going out and you may feel like, you know, this person have me, me and this person have a very strong connection. Right. But there's some confusion because now you're like, I have these feelings for this person, but I'm with this person, you know? So, and you have a loyalty to this person. Okay. Although the person that you have the loyalty to and that you're in a relationship with, they're strained with that relationship because there was deceit, there was lies, there was some things that has broken down the relationship. So that relationship is very heavy and it can create a lot of work and, you know, you guys aren't necessarily on the same page, but the person that's in your heart is somebody that you feel is exactly what I want at this time, albeit you know, again, some of you are confused. Some of you are just reminiscing. If you're reminiscing, you may call that person into you. Okay. And have like a one night stand, have like this intermittent connection with this person. Okay. And then you, you cut it off and then you go back to that relationship that you have. But it's going back to that relationship that you have, you're going to continue to find yourself for some of you, that's not actually physically trying to do anything with somebody else. You're going to find yourself emotionally and possibly mentally going back to that place with that other person. Okay. Um, others of you may want your mate to get to be at this happy, stable place where it's happy. It's about the family. We're happy. Everything is great. Um, and you may long for that. You may fantasize about it. You may want it so deeply just for everything to be fine. And you and your mate may get to a point at the end of the month where you're very passionate towards each other, but something is going to come out that's going to put an end to a situation, okay? Um, but, and then there may, may need to be some healing that comes after that, okay? And it may shift your mate. It may shift the way that they even kind of deal with you. They may have like this hands-on, hands-off attitude, uh, they may completely change, you know, in a way with your mate where it's like now they're focusing on them. Um, they are around, but they're not really around, but they're really kind of like focusing on themselves. OK, so you may notice that this person is not even as um, attentive as they used to be. And some of you may be trying to express yourself on an emotional level or you know, and your mate is is like really like. um just really focused on self is what I'm getting. So there's going to be some change in energy coming from your mate, particularly if you guys are dealing with a fire sign, um, a Leo, but it could be a Leo, Sagittarius is what I see here, but it could be an Aries as well. Uh, there may be that, all right? Now, that's kind of what I see for you guys for April. I'm about to act like I was going to give you guys like a full reading. <laughs> Uh, so that's what I got see for you guys for the remainder of April. I hope that this has been helpful. If you would like to share your thoughts, please leave them in the comment section below. You know, we'd love to hear from you. Uh, it's a lot, guys. I almost started to get kind of like anxiety going through all of this because it was so many different emotions coming up. Um, so yeah, that's what it looks like for the remainder, the remainder of April. You guys are still trying to sift through this emotional stuff, huh? Uh, and if you are new to this channel, welcome and subscribe because I will be back very soon with another one.